the wreck. Fred and Jean went to the same high school, but they met for the first time at the Christmas dance. Fred had come by himself, and so had Jean. Soon Fred decided that Jean was one of the nicest girls he had ever met. They danced together most of the evening. At 11 o'clock, Jean said, I have to leave now. Can you give me a ride? Sure, he said. I've got to go home too. I accidentally drove my car into a tree on my way over here, Jean said. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Fred drove her to the head of Brady Road. It was in a neighborhood he didn't know very well. Why don't you drop me off here? Jean said. The road up ahead is in really bad condition. I can walk from here. Fred stopped the car and held out some tinsel. Have some, he said. I got it at the dance. Thank you, she said. I'll put it in my hair. And she did. Would you like to go out sometime, to a movie or something? Fred asked. That would be fun. Jean said. After Fred drove off, he realized that he did not know Jean's last name or her telephone number. I'll go back, he thought. The road can't be that bad. He drove slowly down Brady Road through a thick woods, but there wasn't a sign of Jean. As he came around a curve, he saw the wreckage of a car ahead. It had crashed into a tree and caught fire. Smoke was still rising from it. As Fred made his way to the car, he could see someone trapped inside, crushed against the steering column. It was Jean. In her hair was the Christmas tinsel he had given her. 